So we'll be on the float with us, so we're going to get to chat a lot, you know, during the broadcast with her, and we're concerned about the weather for next Thursday. Is this too far out to target a forecast, or we, what are you thinking? Well, i got to be honest with you. We've covered a number of opening day parades. I've been here almost 10 years now for opening day, and I have to admit, I think this is going to be one of the easier forecasts Ooh, I feel like I just jinxed it, but this is going to be one of the easier forecasts, right, I think, for opening day. We've got lots of sunshine, and it looks almost perfect right now. Fingers crossed that I did not. Sadly, we're not even worried about the players. We're worried about us during the parade, let's be honest. right? And Kevin? all the fans along the parade route, too, right? And it looks like the weather's going to be great for standing outside. We usually have sunglasses, beads, cups. We'll have all the fun stuff out there for those of you lining up along the parade route next Thursday. This afternoon, though, you know what? We've got some hit and miss showers around the area. Occasionally, some of you have even seen some small pieces of hail, nothing heavy or significant, just some tiny pieces of ice falling from the sky. But here we are. Here's one of those showers drifting from north to south across the area this evening, moving into parts of Campbell, Kitten, also into Boone counties right now, moving out of downtown Cincinnati from Mount Washington over towards Silver Grove, south of Highland Heights here on nine. Where you get into some of these brighter colors, you're probably seeing some teeny Tiny, tiny pieces of ice, some small hailstones. What's happening out there today is that if you go up 100 feet, a couple of thousand feet up into the sky, the air is very cold. It's chilly down here where we are, right? But it's even colder. You go up just a little bit where the clouds are. So some of those heavier showers have been able to force some of these smaller hailstones down to the ground right now along the double A highway, for example. Some of these showers extend back up into the west side from Coldale over towards Dale High, Fort Mitchell in northern Kentucky. These will only last about another hour or so and then they're out of here for the rest of the night. Temperatures today chilly. We usually like to see highs into the mid 50s around 55, but only low 40s. Batesville at 42, 50 Mason, Loveland, Hamilton coming in at 48, only 41 in Dry Ridge, Owenton at 42 at the moment. So it's going to be a chilly evening out there as those showers move out. They may last through maybe 7, 8 o'clock in northern Kentucky as temperatures tumble their way back down through the 40s. All right. It may be spring, but it's not going to feel like it the entire time heading into the weekend. In fact, for your Friday, I've got some chilly breezes and a cold night tomorrow night and a cool start to your Saturday. Here's a live look outside right now. 48 at the airport. There's that brisk breeze. The showers have been relatively light because they only last three or four minutes. So we've got this little spin in the atmosphere, this storm center. It pulls away this evening, but here's a cold front that will bring reinforcements of chilly air for tomorrow. Check future cast here. Notice by eight, the showers are gone. As we go overnight tonight, skies will begin to clear, but watch what happens early Friday morning. You see this surge of cloud cover? That's reinforcements of chilly air. There may be enough to squeeze out a stray sprinkle tomorrow, but I think most of us are dry. The big story is it is brisk tomorrow. It is cool and it is cold Friday night and early Saturday morning, but we kick off the weekend on Saturday with lots of sunshine. And as we teased there a few minutes ago, it looks almost perfect right now for opening day next Thursday in the mid 60s. So 34 tonight with the showers fading, skies clearing up and it turns colder. And then for tomorrow, mostly cloudy with a chilly breeze only into the upper 40s is your day planner. You'll begin the day in the mid 30s and will climb into the 40s. But again, it will feel cooler than that with that stiff wind. Here's your seven day forecast. Mike, Sheree, maybe some showers creeping back in here for the tail end of the weekend. Doesn't look like a lot of rain, but those nights again going to be cold tomorrow night if you make Friday night plans. All right, Kevin, thank you. New video after last week's heavy storm.